I have to tell you that one of the things that I love and respect about you and your career is you are one of those actresses that's not afraid to take the not pretty roles and not as the way you look but just the roles that are, are different and that are a little scary for people to watch and sometimes even controversial. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it about those roles that, that you're drawn to? I take these kinds of roles because I've been so frustrated being defined by my physical self my whole life. So every chance I get to take a non-pretty role mm -hmm. or play a character that's somehow suffering or struggling and in a period of life that's not glamorous, I jump all over it because I get to liberate myself from that beauty pageant model persona that has followed me my whole life and I love shedding that and getting down and into something more real and not so superficial um, and, and, and I just it's like candy to me to get to do that. I love that. I love that's my favorite answer in the world. Yeah. You might be my new best friend. Um, <laughs> the, the thing that I loved about this film and you in this film was Frankie was so tortured yeah. and you were brilliant at portraying that. And I know this was kind of a story that you really wanted to tell and worked really hard yeah. for a long time to get yeah. out there. So what was that process like? It was grueling, but I was determined to tell the story. When I found out that this was real, that a real woman was a black woman who had a white racist inside of her, like my brain couldn't even comprehend that that could even be true and knowing that it was I thought well people have to know about this people have to know how people who suffer from this kind of mental disorder how they really struggle to just day to day to keep their faculties together to to just make it from one hour to the next sometimes um, I thought people would have more compassion for those people that you see sleeping on the park benches and you think oh you know well this is their story you know they're not all just you know, low-life drug addicts that just don't want to get their life together. They have real issues that they're suffering with, and their family has turned an eye. Nobody cares about them, and, and they're just trying to make it. And, and I wanted to be a part of bringing this success story to a situation yeah. like that to the screen. I love, I love that sharing people's stories because I think it's so important because there is such a stigma with mental illness yeah. in this country and yeah. this movie shows such a great side of that in the end. Yeah. Um, there's a scene in the film that I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to spoil it, but towards the end of the film when you're laying on that couch, which seems to be a seamless non-cut scene. Yeah. How grueling is that for you as a person, not necessarily as an actress, to take on a character like this? That was, like I said, that was just candy for me. It wasn't really grueling at all. It, it is what energized me about the whole project, knowing that at the end of it, that scene was coming. I, I was terrified of it. Mm -hmm. I hoped I could pull it off, but as an actor, I couldn't wait for that day to come because I wanted so desperately to get in that. And I'd seen it done on, I watched hours and hours of video of real people suffering go through that seamlessly. And I thought, because I know it's real, I knew that I could find a way to do it. I hope that I could find a way to do it. Well, you so. did, and I loved it, and it did get me Thank thinking you. at the end, like, how, does the, how is all this possible in one person's head? Yeah. Um, we can't wait to have it on our screens and to share oh. it with everyone, so thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.